do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter excretion and osmoregulation and in that we are studying topic urethra now urethra is a part of urinary system along with ureters as well as urinary bladder so let's study few things about urethra today urethra now if i talk about urethra along with urinary bladders ureters kidney it also forms the part of your excretory system urethra could be said as a duct that extends from the urinary bladder to its external opening called as urethral orifice now in males it is basically shorter and also in males it is divided into three different parts membranous tubules prosthetic urethras as well as the other regions of urethra now urethra along with urinary bladder as well as ureters coordinate just to make sure that the excretory secretions are removed out in a particular order in both male as well as female and the cells of the urethra or you can say the openings of urethra are aligned in a certain manner to remove out the liquid waste products urethra now if i talk about urethra urethra could be said as a common passage for urine in both male and female it is a duct that basically extends from the urinary bladder to the external opening that's called urethral orifice now in females urethra is about 4 cm long and it is embedded or you simply say it's situated in the anterior walls near the vagina the urethral orifice lies in the vestibules while in male it is 20 cm in length urethra may act as a passage or it is the common passage for secretion of urine both in males as well as females we all know that
In males, if we talk about urethra, it's basically divided into three parts. The first part is prosthetic urethra, the second one is membranous urethra and the third one is penile urethra. Now if I talk about the penile urethra region, this serves as a passage both for urine as well as semen. That's the reason in males it is always called as urogenital tract or urogenital passage or pathway. While in females, this is not the case. It never serves for both of the purposes as it does in males. So students, in this part of the chapter, we did study about urethra. How it is different both in male and females. How in males, it serves as a passage to pass both semen as well as urine and in females, that doesn't happen. We also saw the differences in size both in male and females. I hope students, you are very clear about this concept. Thank you.